Why, hello there. On this video, we are gonna answer a question from the community and the question reads, how do you decide if your body pain is something to rest and recover or just soreness that you should keep working through? And the second part of this question is, how long do you give for recovery before you start back? Great question. So let's begin by talking about what is called the supercompensation model. Okay, so whenever you work out, you know, your body exerts energy, your muscles break down, and it takes healing and recovery on your body's part in order to get back to, you know, that same level that you were before. And your fitness, which basically stands for your ability to adapt to stimulus, will determine the length of, you know, how long it takes you to recover. So, you know, for example, if you're just starting out, uh, it will probably take you up to like 72 hours, maybe even 96 hours in order to get back to like, okay, I'm fully recovered. You know, for somebody who's been working out for a really long time, five days a week, it's probably gonna take you about, you know, 24 hours for the most part, maybe 48 hours after a really like, intense workout um now with regards to whether it is extreme soreness or soreness how do you determine that look ask yourself this question based on how i'm feeling on a scale of one to ten what is my level of discomfort right now okay one being i have no soreness whatsoever five being I have some soreness and, you know, it's probably impacting me a little bit. Uh, seven is I have definite soreness and like I definitely need to like roll out, stretch out, uh, warm up real good before I do anything or nine or above. Like I can barely move. Okay. I would say if you are just starting out and you're like at a nine or more, you might want to take a rest. If you're at a nine or more, but you've been working out consistently for a couple of months, go for like a walk to flush it out. Okay. Because movement helps to flush out toxins. When you're feeling that extreme level of soreness, it's just a lot of lactic acid. That's a byproduct of your muscles breaking down in order to rebuild stronger when you're working out. Okay, so basically it will help you to flush out that byproduct and move things more quickly. Okay, um, now if you're, if you're pretty fit and you're used to that stimulus, then, you know, like consider, con consider what you wanna do about it. If, you're, if you are more, um, if you've been at it for a while, your self-awareness with regards to how your body's feeling as far as soreness goes is gonna be a lot higher and you're gonna be a lot more familiar with those feelings. Of course, if it's something over the top, it doesn't matter what level you are, that you know, like, you're just so not used to, of course, unless you're an elite athlete and you do have to step into like a stadium or a rink tomorrow and you have some kind of competition where, you know, it will impact your life, then, I would tell you, you need to just suck it up and do it. However, you probably wouldn't be asking that question if there, that was the case. Right. So there's, there's, there's four things here. It's either I should push through and I do. I shouldn't push through and I do. I shouldn't push through and I don't. And I shouldn't push through and I, and I don't push through. Right. Um, and so one thing that I want to talk about a little bit is like the idea of pain versus soreness because pain is like sharp. It's like achy. It could be like needles or like tingly or numb, numb, like burning, burning, like those kind of things are pain versus like a soreness. The other thing to pay attention to is does it feel like it's in a joint or does it feel like it's in like it's muscular like is it in between joints or is it in a joint mm -hmm. right because if it's in a joint more likely that is something that it would be a better idea to rest from yeah 
more likely. If it is in a muscle and it just, it just like, when you, when you lengthen the muscle, I'll use the bicep just because it's a very visible one right here, but like this is a contracted muscle because it's shortened and then this is a lengthened. And if it like hurts when you lengthen it, most likely that just soreness, mm -hmm. okay? Um, but if you move it in a weird way and, and you do feel some kind of pain, some kind of sharp shooting, you know, something, then that's, I would pay more attention to that from a recovery standpoint. The, um, there's two, two right ways to go about your decision and, and two, uh, or two helpful ways and two not helpful ways to go about your decision. The two helpful ways would be like, I should rest and I do rest, or I should push through and I do push through. The two non-helpful ways are, I should push through and I don't because I'm using it as an excuse to not because I'm being a baby, or I shouldn't push through, but I do anyways because I'm stubborn, okay? I have been, I think, in all categories and you know, you at the more aware you become of your self and your body, the more certain you become with the decision that you make because you kind of know how your body feels. In the beginning, it's a little bit trickier though. So my like general advice would be, if it feels like it's a muscle soreness, you probably need to stretch. And I would just be mindful about the like intensity of the movement you do in that particular area of your next workout. That doesn't mean you need to skip your workout. And you shouldn't because when you move your muscles around and your joints around when the muscles are sore, you get blood flow and that blood recovers the area. So um, if you have pain though, if it's pain, if it's in a joint, if it hurts, like you lift your arm and it's not like, oh, my muscles. It's like you feel a pinch, a pinch like or something. Deeper, yeah. yeah, and it's really deep in there. That's something to pay a little bit more attention to and probably just rest. Like that doesn't also doesn't mean that you can't work out, but I just probably would leave that area alone a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So that's great. Two cents, two cents, four cents. So hopefully that'll buy you a bubble gum. Go be great. 20 years ago. See ya. Bye.